going to be taking you through a series of exercises with the TRX device. Now if you're using this at home, then you should have one of these door attachments. So how that works is you clip it onto the TRX, put it through a sturdy door that closes toward you, put it a little bit toward the hinge side, and now pull it tight and it should be good to go. There's also an option of using the yellow strap to put around something like a tree branch outside. Over here, I have the TRX set up on the rig here. Ideally, this ring is going to be about six feet off the ground. First, let's go through the different adjustment positions. If you see the two yellow lines, when this black sleeve covers the two yellow lines, that's the mid or medium position where we're going to use the straps most often. If I hold one, pull down the buckle, pull the yellow tab to the top, and do the same on the other side, that's all the way short, which we'll only use for rowing. Now if I hold on to both buckles, pull down with my thumbs, walk backwards, I can lengthen all the way to the end this is the all the way long position that we'll only use for chest press. There's one other position which is called mid calf that we're only going to be using for core exercises on the floor. That's where the cloth loops are slightly below the kneecap. Otherwise, we're going to be at medium length. So let's go ahead and start out with the straps at medium. Always stay within your comfortable range of motion, adjust the positions as needed. And so keep in mind, if the body position is at a lower angle to the ground, it will make the exercise harder. And if you're in a more upright position, it's going to make it easier. We're going to start with four warm-up movements, doing these 12 to 15 times each. First is the breaststroke squat. Start standing facing the attachment, holding the handles, palms down, begin doing small squats, circling the arms as if swimming a breaststroke. Keep the knees over the feet, the hips reaching back, head and chest tall, shoulders relaxed. Have a slight outward pulling of the knees. Arms go forward, out and around. One more. Next warm up is called golf swing. For this one, we're going to lift the heels and rotate on the toes. So lift the heels, rotate one way, look behind you, come back to the front, lift, rotate the other. Alternate side to side. We can do six to eight times each way alternating. Keep breathing throughout. The feet don't really move, they just rotate. Stay within your comfortable range of motion of the shoulders. Next one is going to be a forward stepping lunge with a twist. Stand behind the attachment point. Put the straps over your shoulders as if wearing suspenders. Use the arms out in front, palms down. Step forward with the left foot into a lunge, rotate left and look left, step back. Step right foot forward, rotate and look right. Continue alternating. The front knee stays right over the foot, the elbow stays straight. One arm goes forward and up, the other back and down slightly. Turn toward the side of the front leg. Again, we can do six to eight each side. Now turn around facing the attachment point for the TRX cat cow. Now stand behind your attachment point, holding with the hands, palms down. Exhale, hinge forward from the hip joint with the slightly extended spine. Tuck the tailbone under as you roll up. Stand tall, relax the shoulders to the top. Exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, rolling up. Getting a nice stretch in the back. Feel free to 
to bend the knees a little bit as you fold forward. Exhale forward, inhale up. You can do 12 to 15 total. Now we'll go into main exercises. We'll also do 12 to 15 of these. Starting with the basic squat. Stand facing the attachment, palms face inwards. Inhale, reach hips back and down, exhale up. Just stay within your comfortable range of motion in terms of how deeply you go. So going as deeply as comfortable for you. Hips reaching back, knees pull outward slightly. Head and chest up, shoulders relaxed. Inhale down, exhale up. The arms assist, but the legs do more of the work. The knees stay over the feet as the hips reach back. Now we're going on to a step back lunge. We'll do one set with the right leg stepping back, one with the left leg stepping back. Start with feet close together. Step the right leg back to the lunge and step up again. Keep breathing as you keep moving. If you want to make this harder, there's several options. You can step back and not touch down and back. Another option, touch down and back but not in front. Or also, you can not touch either place. Again, continue for 12 to 15. And then we'll rest a little bit. Then we're going on to the other one. So again, feet are close, step the left leg back, and stepping forward. Head tall, shoulders relaxed. Again, there's an option to don't touch it back. Or option touching back and not in front. Or option don't touch either place. The front knee stays right over the foot. And rest, take a breath. Now we're going to lengthen all the way for the chest press. So with the thumbs, pull down on the buckles, walk backwards, take it all the way long. Now put the straps over the shoulders like wearing suspenders. Reach the arms out in front, about chest tight, then rotate the thumbs upward. This will make it easier on the shoulders. As you inhale, lean forward, bring the chest between the hands, allow the heels to lift. Exhale, press away. Continue, inhale forward, exhale back. To make this easier, step forward more. Or to make it harder, step back more. We don't want an uncomfortable scraping of the straps against your arm, although the straps may slightly brush against the outer arm. As best you can, keep the elbows in close to the ribs. That will make it easier on the shoulders. Keep a long straight line through the body, ankles through hips, through shoulders, through head. Now we're going to take it back to the mid length. Shorten again till the black sleeves cover the two yellow lines. Shorten one at a time. This is the standing back extension. Face the attachment point, arms overhead, shoulders relaxed, palms facing forward. Exhale, fold down, allow the toes to lift. Inhale, lift back up. Continue hinging from the hip joint. Keep pretty straight through the knees and pretty straight through the back as well. Breathe with each movement. 
We're strengthening the back of the hips, the low back, the back of the legs. Arms stay alongside the ears. Now we're going to shorten all the way up. So this is for the rowing. For rowing, start with the elbows right by the ribs. Inhale, lean back to straight elbows. Exhale, pull forward. If you want to make this a little easier, step back more. If you want to make it harder, step forward more. It's okay to let the toes lift as you lean back. Keep shoulders relaxed downward. Pull the shoulder blades towards each other as you pull the elbows back. Strengthening the upper back around the shoulder blades and the fronts of the upper arms. Now we're going to go back to the mid length. Lengthen to those black sleeves, cover the two yellow lines. Now we'll again put the straps over the shoulders. This is called standing rollout. Reach arms in front about chest height. Inhale, lean forward, lift the heels, tighten the abdominals, exhale, pull back down. Inhale, lean forward, exhale, pull back. Keep a straight line through the body, ankles, their hips, their shoulders. Pull the abdominals in as you lean forward to support the low back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Shoulders relax. Now we're going to turn around for the biceps curls. Let's reach the arms up in front, elbows 90 degree angle, elbows right in front of the chest. Inhale, lean back to straight, elbows exhale, pull forward. Again, to make it easier, you could take your feet back a little bit. To make it harder, you could step forward a little bit. If you prefer, you could rotate the palms to face each other as you straighten the elbows and the palms to face backwards as you bend the elbows, or you could just keep the palms facing backward the whole time. Imagine the elbows resting on an invisible shelf in front of the chest. The toes can lift as we keep the straight line through the body. Now we're going to turn around for the triceps extension. Put the straps over the shoulders, reach out in front about chest height, inhale, lean forward, bend the back of the hands toward the forehead, exhale, press out. Inhale forward, exhale, press. To make it a little easier, step forward. To make it harder, step back. It's okay to allow the heels to lift as you lean forward. Breathing with each movement, feel strengthening in the back of the upper arms. Now we're going to Grab just one of the handles and pull tight. So it should lock up at the top when you pull it tight, you can just release the other. If you have one of the early models, it may not lock at the top, in which case you need to tie the two handles together. We're going to be doing a standing rotation. Hold the handle with both hands and then rotate up and left and come back. Rotate up and left. With your eyes, follow the handle. Allow the right heel to lift as you rotate left. Keep a straight line through the body. Here again, to make it easier, back up a little bit. 
to make it harder. Walk your feet forward a little bit. Keep breathing, keep watching the handle. Shoulders relax down. Now when we switch to the other side, I like to put the other hand underneath so that I'm not favoring one hand. Now we're going to rotate to the right. And again, the left heel can lift as you rotate right. Walk back and make it easier. Forward and make it harder. Breathing with each movement. Now we're going to do a standing hip drop. Now hold that one handle with both hands in between the head and the attachment point. You're standing sideways with the inside foot stepping forward. Inhale, reach the hip out. Exhale, come back to a straight line through the body. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, pull in. Breathing with each movement. Keep the body on one plane. Keep the head between the arms, kind of like a portrait in a frame. Look at your facing wall. Feel stretched to the outer hip and waist as you reach out, strengthening to the side of the waist as you pull in. Then we'll turn and do the same thing on the other side. Step the inside foot forward. The handles between the head and the attachment. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, pull in. Breathing with each movement. Stay in one plane. Now we're going to loosen up the ring at the top so that they're now even again. And then double check that we're still at medium length. Black sleeves covering those two yellow lines. We're going to go into the Y deltoid fly. Reach the arms up in a Y shape, palms face forward. We lean back, handles come to the front and pull back to a Y. Now if this is too hard, we could step alternating feet back each time to catch your weight. So that's the easier version. Or a harder version, just keep the feet side by side. Again, this will be a little easier if your feet are further back, harder if your feet are further forward. Stay pretty straight through the elbows, palms facing forward. Strengthening the back of the shoulders. Now we're going to do a related movement called the T deltoid fly. Step a little bit closer, arms in a T shape, palms forward. Lean back, arms to the front, and pull back out. Here again, we can make it easier by alternating stepping back. Or harder to keep the feet side by side. Shoulders relax down, elbows stay pretty straight. Leap from the back of the hands, pulling out. Those are all of the standing movements. So now we're going to go on to some of the core strengthening movements down on the floor. These are a little harder, so if you want to skip these, you can either go back to the and go through a second set, or you can just forward ahead to the stretches. Otherwise, we're going to take the straps to that mid 
um, shin weight. So I'm going to push down in both handles. And so I want to get these cloth loops a little bit below the knees. The cloth loops a little bit below the knees there. To begin with, we're going to do a bridging. So we're going to put the feet in the cloth loops and lie back, and then for the basic bridge, exhale lift, inhale lower. Exhale so up, inhale down, strengthening the gluteals as you lift. Now to make this a little bit harder, we could have the arms reaching up toward the ceiling the whole time. Exhale up, inhale down. And stop and rest. Now we're going to move on to the leg curl. So for this, lift the hips slightly, bend and straighten the knees. If you need to make this easier, keep the hips on the floor as you do this. Otherwise, to make it a little harder, reach the arms up toward the ceiling. Strengthening in the back of the leg. Lower the hips, lift the feet out, and sit up. Then we're going into two face down planks. So to get set up, I'm going to take my toes through the back of the cloth loops, keep the feet dorsiflex and the feet in the loops as I turn over face down. So then we're going to lift to a plank on the elbows. So hold the plank approximately 30 seconds. If you want to make this a little harder, you can add some knee tucks. Keep breathing. And then we'll lower down and rest a few breaths. And then we have a plank on the hands with the option of alternate side knee tucks. Hands on the shoulders, press up to the plank. For level one, just hold. Level two, two tuck knees together to alternating sides. Keep breathing. We can do six to eight to each side alternately. When you're finished, lower back down, lift the feet out, and we'll sit up. So that's it for the main strength exercises. If you'd like to do a second or third set, then rewind to the squats and start over again there. Otherwise, we're going into some stretches now. We're going back to the medium length, or mid length. Black sleeves cover the two yellow lines. We're going to reach back, stretch through the shoulders, through the back, reaching through the hips. Slightly turn inside to the elbows to face upward. You can bend the knees a little to help you be fairly straight through the back. We'll hold about 30 seconds here. Adjust the hips a little bit side to side as you need to to get a good stretch. We'll go into a variation. Bend the right knee, straighten the left leg, look left. Hold 10 seconds. And then bend the left knee, straighten the right, look right. Hold 10 seconds. We'll do it two more times each way. Bend the right knee, straighten left, look left. Bend the left knee, straighten the right, look right. Bend the 
right knee straighten the left, look left. Bend the left knee, straighten the right, look right. Then both knees walk forward and up. Now let's take the straps over the shoulders. Hold both handles up to the side in a T-shape, palms forward. Step forward to feel some stretch in the front of the shoulders and chest. Step the right foot forward to get a stretch in the left upper calf. Keep breathing. We'll hold about 15 seconds here. So stretching in front of the shoulders, chest, and the upper calf. Keep the arms the way they are, but switch the legs. Now stretching the right calf and still stretching the chest and shoulders. Keep breathing. Now reach the right arm up, bend the left elbow down, lean forward to stretch the front of your right shoulder. Relax the shoulders down, still stretching right calf. Holding 15 seconds. Switch the arms. Left arm up, right elbow down, stretch the front of the left shoulder. Keep the arms the way they are, switch the legs. Keep breathing here. And switch. Now step forward, turn the handles, palms up behind the back. Now turn to the left, let the right arm get back behind the back. Also lean the head to the left, so we're stretching the right side of the neck and outside the right shoulder. Just the head angle to get the best stretch to the right side of the neck. We'll hold 30 seconds. Turn back away from the attachment point and turn to the right. And that left arm gets back behind the back. And you get to the right, press the left side of the neck. Adjust the angle of the head for the best stretch for the left side of the neck. Feeling that stretch in the outer left shoulder. Now turn your face away from the attachment point. Have the handles behind your back, palms up. We're going to fold into forward bend, looking behind you from between the legs. You can bend the knees a little bit as needed. Let's shake the head a bit to relax the neck. Reaching up through the hips, stretching the back of the legs and into the low back. Holding 30 seconds. We lift out. Let's hold both handles together with the right hand. Now with the left hand, hold the left foot firm behind for a quadriceps stretch. Keep the right knee a little soft, the two knees side by side. Tuck the tailbone forward slightly. We'll hold for 30 seconds here. Don't stretch in front of the left side. Standing tall, shoulders relaxed. Now switching to the other side, hold both handles with the left hand, right hand holds the right foot from behind, the left knee a little soft, Let the tailbone forward slightly, keeping the two knees side by side. Release. Now hold the two handles in both hands. Cross the left ankle over the right thigh, sit back and down to the standing figure four. Stretching the outer back and left hip. Stretching into the gluteal muscles and piriformis muscle. Keeping the right knee directly over the foot, keeping the shoulders relaxed. 
Again, we'll hold about 30 seconds. Put that, we'll switch. Now we're going to cross right and over left side. Sit hips back and down. Head tall, shoulders relaxed. Left knee right over the middle of that left foot. Out, release, shake around a little bit, march out. So that's it for the TRS routine. If you enjoyed the video, then please hit like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, you may leave them in the comments. Thank you.